Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to your weekly cooking live every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So today we're going to make a baked tortellini with like a vegetable creamy sauce right in the oven. Like it's not a one pod meal, it's a one stone meal. So uh, join me and come along and let me know if you're watching this live or in replay. And if you're new here, make sure you comment and you share this video so you can enter to win this week's prize, which this week I'm giving you the large bar pan. And if you already have that, I will let you choose any other unglazed bar pan for the winner, okay? So as you're popping in, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. And let's cook together. Like I said, we're doing this every Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Let me know where you're joining us from and let me know if uh, you're part of one of the virtual parties or my virtual party hosts are here so we can give them credit as well. If you have any questions, start dropping them or comment through them throughout the live. But we're gonna cook together. So my first question to you is, do you have any stoneware? Let me turn off my notification here. Do you have any stoneware? Yes or no? What stoneware do you have? I wanna hear all things. Why do you love your stoneware? We're, it's stoneware month at the Pamper Chef, so we're using stoneware all month long, okay? So you can see it's nice and seasoned. Uh, it's not a new stone anymore, which is, I love them seasoned. I don't like new stones. I like them seasoned just like that. Okay, it looks like we got California in the house. Hello, hi, hi, thanks for saying hi. So let's get cooking. Come join me and let's make this new recipe together. And the first thing I already did is I preheated my oven to 400 degrees, okay? So this recipe, this entire recipe will be done in the oven, okay? So it's kind of like a one pot meal. Instead of a pot, we're using a stone bar pan, all right? So it's a super, super simple recipe because what's what do I always say? Dinner doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive, guys, okay? So we are gonna work together on this recipe, tortellini, tortellini, <laughs> um, tortellini with vegetables and like a creamy tomato sauce. If this is something that your family would love, comment yes, my family would love that in the chat below. So it does have some vegetables, so we're gonna go ahead and peel, that's what the word I'm looking for, peel um, our carrot right here, okay? So um, these peelers come in a set of three, they're super, super popular, and um, you get two serrated peelers and a julienne peeler as well. They have like a fun little color. So these are definitely a great sna um, snack. <laughs> a great staple piece to have in your kitchen. All right, so here we go. So as always, if you see anything you like or if you have any questions, comment below. And there's always three ways to get our products. So number one, all stoneware this month, all of our unglazed stoneware is on sale. So make sure you snag them. If you're part of the virtual parties, go to your virtual party and shop stoneware there. But I would love to hear, I know I have many people that love stoneware. It's what started it all 42 years ago. For those of you guys that don't know the story, 42 years ago, our anniversary is next week. Um, our founder, Doris Christopher, got in her car. She almost turned around because she was scared and went to her first cooking show in order to start her pamper chef business, she took out $3,000 on her family's life insurance policy so she could buy some inventory. Not that we now carry inventory, but that's how it all started. And she almost turned her car around on that night in Chicago. Crazy, right? Um, and what she made at her first party is she used a pamper chef pizza stone and she put a frozen pizza on it, a cheese pizza, and she just sliced up some vegetables. And people were like, are you sure this is a, are you sure this is a frozen pizza? That's why you stole her. Anyways, I don't know if you knew the story or not. So we are going to chop up, slice up, dice up. I was like, is this a cucumber? No, this is zucchini. A zucchini and carrot. So we are going to use our handy dandy rapid prep mandolin, which is really great for french fries, but it really works great for veggies as well, okay? So how many of you guys have this already? How many of you guys have seen it? Put some comments 
in the chat. So as you can see, here let me show you in case you don't know, it opens up, it stores flat, this is where the blade is, so you unlock the top, and this is what you're pushing down, and then on the back you have three different settings. So you have um, slices, you have julienne, so like smaller pieces of vegetables, you have that french fry thickness. And then these are the different thicknesses. So I really never know. Uh, the only one I know for sure is the French fry setting. Everything else, I just kind of play around with it until I can get it to work. Okay, this is your little holder. And here we go. We're just going to shoot it in. Let's see. I want these as fine as possible. So I'm going to go julienne. And I'm probably going to go with a one or two because I'm trying to hide these from my kids. So we'll see how it goes. Hello. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Oops. So this one's great for making french fries. Kids can help you with this. So you can see it makes these small. Look at these. Look at these tiny. Because I used the smallest setting. I'm trying to make this really fine in hopes that my kids will eat it. You can slice these. You can do whatever you want. Oops. Okay, Claudia. Don't break it. Nothing like a live mishap. <laughs> there you go. This works great on sweet potatoes as well. You can use it on onions and peppers. So it's like a veggie popper, a veggie cutter, whatever you want to call it. All right, and we're going to do our carrots. Throw some of those in there. Get those all chopped up. So look at that, look at the carrots, they're like super fine. Okay, again, you don't have to cook them this fine. I'm just choosing to cook them that fine, okay? You can cut these up. You could probably use other vegetables, you could probably use some mushrooms or some broccoli. Um, just have some fun with it. Okay, we are done, done. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. How easy was that? It gets a little loud, that's for sure, <laughs> all right? But you can see, ooh, dumping it out. Look how fine our carrots and our zucchini are, right? So uh, Lisa says she has it. Jackie says she loves her rapid prep. Awesome, yeah, this is called the rapid prep mandolin. Love paying for just stoneware, Jackie says. I love it, I love it. So keep those comments coming. So this again is a great prep food, uh, prep tool for like meal prepping and stuff like that, okay? So we're just gonna put this away for now and we're going to add um, a little bit of, where is it, right here, a little bit of olive oil with our measuring cup dispenser, whatever you wanna call it, okay? And we're gonna add our veggies in here and season them Let's see where everything is. So put your veggies in here. So those of you guys that are just tuning in, welcome. We are making tortellini with a vegetable tomato cream sauce, all in the stone bar pan. All stone is currently on sale for the month, so this would be a great time to either get a stoneware. I was surprised the other day when I posted and some of my like Go to customers and be like, I don't have a stone. I'm like, you don't have a stone? Like, who doesn't have a Pamper Chef stone? That is what Pamper Chef was founded on, what started it all. You need a Pamper Chef stone. So the large bar pan is a great starter piece, or my first stone was the large round stone. Okay, so, make sure I'm following this. Uh-huh. This says to cut it in slices. You can do whatever you want. Um, okay, and now we need a few sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that oil because why would you waste this beautiful oil? Don't waste this oil, right? And we're gonna use a couple of these sun-dried tomatoes these are really small, so I'm just going to 
not even cut, worry about cutting them, well, maybe a little bit, and add some of those in there. This is going to add a really delicious flavor. You guys love sun-dried tomatoes? Who loves them? Yes or no? I could eat them just out of the jar, but my favorite ones are when I actually go to Italy, and my parents' sun-dried tomatoes, mm, buonissimo, that, with a crusty piece of bread, sign me up. See if there's any big pieces. No, well, these are all pretty small. So, a couple pieces of sun-dried tomato to enhance that tomato flavor. These are great in paninis too. Mm, really want to bite one. <laughs> I'm like, mmm, the smell is so good. Okay, so these right here are just gonna go in the oven for five minutes uh, while we prep the rest. So we're kind of gonna go put things in and take things out. So five minutes, check it out. Pretty cool, right? Just the veggies in the oven. And I'm gonna set a timer because I will start talking and I will forget. So, once that is cooking uh, for five minutes, then we're going to add tortellini, okay? So you wanna buy the refrigerated tortellinis. Um, depending on where you live, I always suggest buying the meat-filled tortellinis if you can find them. Um, it just has more flavor, okay? If you're a vegetarian, then just stick to the cheese one, right? But you need about, um, it's about 800 grams. So it's about, let's see, in pounds. This is one pound, so a pound and a half. So not quite two bags. I mean, you can probably make two bags and just that's fine, you just have more. So you need about one and a half. So who loves tortellini? Uh, who's never had tortellini? So one of a very easy traditional dish is tortellini al brodo, which is just tortellini with broth. Something I grew up with, Gigi loves it. Um, so just a fun recipe. So, all right, so while that is cooking, um, before we add the tortellinis, we are going to make our sauce, okay? So we need about, let me see, 275 milliliters. So that's about one and a quarter cups of tomato sauce, okay? So I have crushed tomatoes here. So I'm gonna measure this and then we're gonna pulse it in our immersion blender to make sure it's a really fine, creamy sauce, okay? I think I use this every week, right? Who's got the measure all cup? That's an OG that used to be yellow at the very first Pamper Chef cooking show. It used to be yellow, yellow, yellow. And we are going to use, of course, our Flex Plus Immersion Blender and mix all this up. And basically, these are crushed tomatoes, right? So I'm trying to get this to a more smoother consistency. me. So for those of you guys that are new, our Flex Plus is three-in-one tool. So it's our immersion blender. It's a processor and it's a hand mixer. It comes with two rechargeable batteries and basically everything kind of unplugs and attaches to the next piece. Hello. Right, let me do it this way. All right, Ooh, there you go, that goes tomato sauce. <laughs> so this is the base piece that goes and moves around to all the tools. All right, so to this, we are going to add 100 milliliters. We'll see how much that is in cups. 100 milliliters. Guess we'll use this one again, which is about half a cup, half a cup of heavy cream. I mean, we're not baking, so we don't have to be uber precise here, so that's going to add some of that creaminess to it. And then we're going to do some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper to the sauce as well. Got to season it, right? So what is everyone's plans this weekend? Comment below what's on the fall agenda. Any apple picking, pumpkin picking, what's happening out there? 
Okay, let's see what else. Da, 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 da. Where does the pesto go in? Oh, at the end. Okay, so this is basically our sauce. And we are going to just heat this up on the stovetop just for a few minutes and get these tomatoes to cook. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite new pots. This is our new Brilliance cookware. This is a great size. I never had this kind of size in with all the other Pampered Chef cookware pieces I have. And I love the spout. So it has spouts on both sides because the lid, isn't that brilliant? The lid has little holes so you can go, right? And it drains it out, which is really, really cool. All right, so we're going to just cook this up just for a few minutes while we get everything else ready. So if you're just tuning in, make sure you comment and you share so you can win a piece of unglazed stoneware this week. And you have all the way until next Friday when I come back on live. So just do it now. <laughs> all right, let's get this out and add our tortellinis. Port look at me, I sound American. Tortellini. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's get those out. Let's get our veggies out. Okay, so remember we put them in for five minutes. Nothing too crazy. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna add our tortellini. So these are refrigerated tortellini. So these are basically pre-cooked. Okay, they're not completely like raw or anything. Okay, we're starting to bubble. They're good. And then about, I'm gonna do about half. If you have a big family, you could always add a couple more and then just increase the sauce, right? That's kind of what you're doing. It's just increasing the sauce. All right, so we're gonna mix all this up. Isn't that cool? Have you ever thought about doing this on your large bar pan? It's just all about different kinds of uses. I've made brownies in the large bar pan this week. I've made these pumpkin bars, which is just one box of spice cake mix and one can of pumpkin. That's it. We've made um, like your cutlets, your schnitzel, your milanese, whichever country calls it, however you wanna call it. You can make those in the large bar pan and eliminate all that frying because the thing about stoneware is it cooks evenly top to bottom. The heat distributes evenly, right? And everything just comes out so much better than like a metal baking pan, okay? All right, so, whoops, you just lost the tortellini. You should see this kitchen after my life. It's like, just shove it all over there. <laughs> all right, so, there we go. That's that. Um, so we also got to do a drawing for last week. So last week, we don't have that many people share. So just saying, you're, it's pretty easy to win um, over here. All you got to do is share this video. It's pretty easy to win. Um, I have not, I need to try brownies. Yes, yeah, so the large bar pan fits two boxes of brownies perfectly, okay? Um, let's see, any questions? Love the measuring cup, awesome. Okay, let's see what we're doing next. Okay, got it. All right, so you guessed it. <laughs> you guessed it. Don't leave yet, though. I gotta, I uh, gotta do the winner. I gotta draw the winner. You guessed it. Now here we go. Are you ready? I want some hearts for this because this is gonna look really cool. Somebody screenshot it and send me a picture. I wish I could take a picture of myself. So we are going to pour the sauce right over here. All right, put a yum in the chat. Put a yum, yummy, buonissimo, sehr gut. I can do three languages. So um, I definitely know my kids are going to love it. They're probably going to pick out the vegetables. Well, Gigi will. Marco won't. Mmm, <laughs> smells good, my friends. It smells delicious. Okay, we're going to mix all that up. Get it all nice. And coat it. Mm -hmm. This 
this would be so cool for like a party and have this out and people could serve themselves. Look how much this bar pin holds. Unbelievable. Yum, yum, yum. This is what happens is nobody talks to me, I just talk to myself. All right, so again, if you're new here, there's my second tortellini on the floor. We're counting. It's a couple of carrots over there. Um, <laughs> make sure you comment and share so you can enter to win it. If you're part of one of the virtual parties, tell us which host is your host. And if my hosts are on, comment below, tag some of your friends as well. Um, okay, all right, this might be a lot for my family, but that's okay, I like leftovers. So, oh my God, does this look good or what? Put a heart in the, in the comments if you think this looks good. I think it looks good. Okay, we're gonna top it off with some Parmigiano Reggiano, right? If you want the real, there's two real Parmesan cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano or Grana Padano. They're like stenciled in, they smell kind of stinky, like real Parmesan cheese. And, um, we are just going to grate some of that on top because who doesn't like cheese? And you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of cheese. I know it's more expensive to buy the right cheese, but you don't need a lot because it has so, the flavor is so like intense. It's so potent that you do not need a lot of cheese. So I know I've converted many of my followers to grate their own cheese because you can attest by the different difference in taste, right? Who have I converted? If you're on, share below. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna go back in the oven, and once it comes out in 15 minutes, I don't know if I'll still be on, but I do have a couple things to share with you guys. At the end, you're just gonna put a couple dollars of pesto on it. Mmm, so good. Okay, back in the oven we go. One, two, three, then we'll draw a winner, and I'll tell you about all the specials this month. Ta-da! Somebody take a picture, right? I should take my own picture. Google, take a picture. I don't think that works. Okay, so put that in here for 15 minutes. So again, 30 minutes or less, dinner's done. Dinner's not have to be complicated. You, I like, I despise, and I know it's because I'm Italian, but I despise going out to eat Italian food and pasta because it's such a cheap food that I can just make it home it was a fraction. Like, I'm not going out there to pay $20 for a spaghetti carbonara or something. Like, you can make it home for like three, okay? So if you can learn how to make some pasta at home, I mean, go out and eat a good steak or something. Do you know what I mean? So anyways, um, all right, so any questions, pop them below. Let's draw our winner. Like I said, there wasn't many, so it's a little sad in here. So as long as you share, I go in and I look at who shared, and then you get entered to win as well sounds good yes I'm glad you guys love this recipe I love that too yeah yeah okay cool yum Dana says awesome I love it I love it thanks for popping in all right so here we go I'm not gonna look our winner is this person right here Jackie White I think I saw you on Jackie Jackie White you won message me your address so I can send you your surprise box and this week you win the large bar pan, or if you already have that, I'll let you, I'll let you pick any unglazed piece of stone ram, okay? So while we wait for that, um, let me tell you about three ways you can get our products. How is that? Um, so number one, you can purchase, right? So you can go, if you're part of the virtual parties, you just go to your virtual party host link and you shop their website. Um, if you're not part of the virtual parties, then I challenge you to go to Linktree in my bio, or if you want to support a fundraiser right now, my daughter's school is doing a Pimbachev fundraiser. So if you want to support the fundraiser, message me fundraiser and I'll send you that link as well. And for the fundraiser, all donation, all commission, everything's donated, okay? So um, when you spend $80 or more this month, you get a free gift. You can choose from the pizza cutter, the everything but the pizza seasoning, or one of our silicone trivets, which our pizza cutter... Mine's in the dishwasher, I think. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, many of you guys don't have that yet. Just used it yesterday. I don't know what it is. But anyways, our pizza cutter has an edge cutter too. So when you do something like on the large bar pan, you get to the end and you never cut that slice of pizza or that dough, you flip it over and it cuts the edge, which is really, really cool. So one of those you get for free. 
with a purchase of $80 or more. All of our stoneware, unglazed stoneware, which is the original one, like I would definitely start with that, is 15% off as well. So make sure you check that out too, okay? So that is one way you can get a product. Number two, if you see a lot of things I'm using and you're like, man, I really want a lot of stuff, but you know, money's tight, then message me virtual party, a common virtual party, um, or if you're in the Rockland County area, I also do in-home cooking classes as well. And that's a way for you to get a lot of free and discounted items as well. You get free items, you get half price items, and you get 60% off when you host a virtual party. And then the third one, and if you've ever hosted a virtual party with me, can you tell all my people how cool it is and how much stuff we got? It's pretty cool, right? The third way to get our products is, guys, this month is Pamper Chaps anniversary, and you can start a Pamper Chaps business for only $25. $25, you get this box that is filled with goodies and aprons, spatula, seasoning, catalogs, free website, free rewards, all those things. Um, most people, you know, choose the $25 one if they want the smallest investment or if money's tight or if they have a lot of products, but most people still go for the other starter kits that have cast iron, stoneware, um, a grill and griddle, or an air fryer, right? So it just depends on how many is for you, but you can join me in this adventure for only 25 bucks. So if you have any questions, is anybody on that has any questions about the Pamper Chef business or what it could do for you, all I ask is just try it. You don't have to marry me, you don't have to do this for the rest of your life, but if you, you know, love to cook or hate to cook, but you still gotta make dinner, then this could be something for you. If you want a lot of the things, you wanna upgrade your kitchen, it's a great way to become a Pamper Chef consultant. If you could use a little extra income or a lot of extra income, I mean, we have part-time, but we also have full-time consultants as well, you can you know make a couple hundred bucks or you can make more depending on your needs as well. So if you have any questions, comment below and I'll come back and answer them or send me a message, okay? Or surprise me and go to Linktree and just join the team and then we'll go from there. Um, okay, so anything else? Yes, I am on Facebook. You can add me on Facebook. It's Claudia Bazaar, B-A-Z-A-A-R, just like a holiday bazaar, charity bazaar. If you click on my um, link to my bio, it also has all my links as well. Okay, any other questions that I can answer? I'm trying to read through the comments. Yay, Jackie's on! Yay, you won! <laughs> love stoneware. Okay, love stoneware, love stoneware. Um, all right, so I will post um, I will post a picture of this final thing here. Like I said, at the end, you can do a little bit of pesto on top, and it's just a quick, easy dinner, okay, for you and your family. I'll be back on live next week on Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and don't forget to comment and share so you can enter to win as well, okay? So any questions, just directly message me, comment below, and... Um, if you do make this, tag me. If you use your stoneware this month, tag me. I'm doing a giveaway all month long for anybody that uses their stoneware and tags me as well. Okay? Sound good? All right, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao for now.